You can't learn everything from non-customers, but you can certainly learn more than nothing. So the most common and fruitful example is industry experts, journalists, investors, academics, people who used to work in the industry but have since retired, entrepreneurs who used to serve the industry and have sold or failed their company. All of these I would consider industry experts, and they're a gold mine of information if what you want is a fact about how things work. So for example, they're not going to be able to help you too much with the customer's decision-making process and worldview. They'll have an opinion, sure, but like I don't trust them. To understand the customer's worldview, I want to talk to the customer and make come to my own conclusions about their worldview and their decision-making. But if it's something like, hey, how does this industry work? What do the budgets look like? What are the major criteria that go into this sort of purchase? What do people commonly use? Like, why do they choose this product over that product? Um, what are the insurance requirements? Like, What are the legal requirements? What are the, the traps that other companies and products similar to mine have fallen into in the past? These sorts of facts about the industry, industry experts are incredible for them. And they're completely non-biased because they don't have a horse in the race. And so if you can find someone who believes in what you're doing or who likes you or who wants to help you out for any number of reasons, you can just go boom, 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 boom. You don't need to worry about biases as long as you keep it on facts about the industry. How does this work? You know, that sort of thing. They're great. Um, use them. Absolutely. And these people are really easy to pin down for a conversation uh, because they've got this hard won expertise and they're happy to share it. And they're not worried you're going to try to take their money. Um, another option is to do, and as far as I know, this was uh, coined and proposed by Amy Hoy, who runs the um, 30 by 500 course, like helping people get uh, bootstrapped businesses up and running and profitable. And her view is like customers lie to you. So she and I start from the same premise. Like you can't trust people's opinions, customers' opinions, but we then go in different directions. So whereas mine was like, well, let's change the way we ask questions so they can't lie to us. Her approach is forget the questions altogether. And she's got a great technique that she calls a customer safari. So just like if you're going you know, on an actual safari to look at animals, you don't interact with the animals. You don't ask the animals any questions. You just go to where the animals are and then you watch them living their lives and you draw your own conclusions. She recommends doing that for customers. So for example, you go to the customer support forum of your competitors. You go to the message boards. Uh, like if you're serving moms, you go to a message board where moms ask each other questions and give each other advice. Uh, if you can find these places online or even in the real world where your customers are already interacting with either each other or with your competitors, they're asking questions, they're voicing their concerns, they're talking about their goals and dreams and frustrations. That's a goldmine of customer learning. Now, it doesn't work for every product in every industry. Uh, some are a bit more vocal and chatty than others. And if you're doing something brand new that doesn't exist yet, it may be hard to find the type of information you want. But certainly the customer safari technique is not used as much as it should be. It's very valuable. Uh, how can you find people in their natural habitat where they're doing this sort of work or asking these sorts of questions? And just, just watch from a distance. Get your binoculars, just watch them. Um, we have to change the techniques we use because of the context. You know, meetings, in-person meetings, the reason they're so great is because, you know, you schedule them for half an hour and an hour, but the business only takes 10 minutes. So you've got all this extra time to get to know each other, to build rapport, to talk about other adjacent topics. That's what gives you the opportunity for deep, uh, undefended customer learning. So we need to be a bit tactical when we're moving remote and use a, a wider range of tools, the industry experts, the customer safari, creating space like we talked about in the last video. Um, put it all together though and you can get pretty good learning.